simple and easy way to make delicious ogbolo. Guys, if you want to know how I made this delicious ogbolo soup, stay tuned with me and let's dive in and start it right now. Stay <music> Yes, in the pot I have cow leg and I added my maggi. I cover it. After some time, I check on it. Now I'm going to add the rest of the meat, like shake and the cow tail. I will also add the assorted meat. And I will add my dry fish and the salt fish to it. Then I will add the rest of the maggi kale. Then I will add some salt and some boiled water to cover it up. Then I will stir it together and cover it and allow it to start cooking. So after some time guys, I didn't know my camera was not recording yet. I added a teaspoon of blended pepper, dry one, and five teaspoons of grounded great fish. Now I am having my macro fish inside. Then I will also add some water to cover it up and start cooking again. Then I will move to the next session, blending the ogbolo. So my blender here can blend the boat. It blend both dry and the water, okay? So I will first of all just give it a scatter, then I will blend it later with the palm oil. It's the easy way to blend the ogbolo. Oh, I don't know about your blender. If you have a strong blender, it's very good you blend your ogbolo with palm oil. It's just the easy way. My blender here is doing a very great job. I've been having this blender for the past eight years and it's still doing an amazing job. So I'm going to have the pan hoy and I'm just wash out guys how I blend this over. Very easy and simple. Still blending guys, so now we check on it to see how he's going. So now let's check on the Ogbono to see how he's going. Look at it guys, just check it out very very simple if you have a strong blender okay very very simple i will blend it one more time no but it's very strong it's very strong so now i'm taking it out because i'm okay with it now then i will turn it here just check it out guys check it out so now, still look at the ogbolo. So we go to the pot right now. So I'm going to remove my fish from the pot so that when I'm missing the ogbolo, my fish will not get broke. Okay? It's still optional. If you can miss the ogbolo with the fish, you can go ahead and miss it. But for me, I always remove, remove my fish before missing the ogbolo so that my fish will be okay later. Now I'm bringing the ogbolo inside the pot. So I will stir everything together. So I see that the ogbolo soup is too thin, so I'm going to add some water. Feel free to add water to your taste, okay? So I added some water and I will also turn it again. So it's up optional. If you want it to be more thin, you can go ahead and do whatever you like. 
But for me, it was too thin, then I added water. Up to you, just how you like it, okay? So guys, just look at this Ogbolo. Look at the way it's doing. Thump, 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 thump. You need to hear this. <laughs> you need to hear the noise that is coming from the Ogbolo. And also, you need to sense the aroma of this Ogbolo. So I tested the Ogbolo. I see that it was lacking some salt and I added some salt to it. Feel free to cook your Ogbolo with whatsoever you like. Some people say they don't cook Ogbolo with chicken. I cook my Ogbolo with chicken. It's what I like. Now I am adding my fish to the Ogbolo soup. <laughs> so gently, I will be turning it gently for my fish not to get scattered okay i will now say thank you all to all my old subscribers to the new ones you are all welcome thank you all for watching rose jp tv god bless you all thanks for your like for your comment for your share i appreciate everyone please keep liking keep sharing my video and god will definitely reward you all in jesus name also let me know your comment on the comment section leave your comment free free to leave your comments okay i don't know how you cook your bolo soup but this is the way i cook my bolo soup and it's so delicious look at it you can see the color continue changing then you will know your bolo is almost ready this is how you will know your bolo is almost ready you see the color is changing it's not like the way it used to be before wash it very well Thank you guys, this Ogbolo is about to go na na. Yeah, I am packaging my Ogbolo to preserve it and putting them directly into my freeze. I package them like this. I don't know how do you preserve your soup, like just like so. So that when you want to eat, you can just bring one out, just like so, and pour it on your pan then yam. This one, I am taking it with pandemia. Come and join me and God bless you all. See you all in my next video. Stay blessed and remain blessed. One love to you all. Bye-bye.